being uh, served. Now, if you look closely, these people have tattooed the name of Lord Ram on their entire body, from head to toe. This community is called as the Ram Nami community. They are found in the central part of Chhattisgarh near the city of Bilaspur. This again is a very rare and unique community and people from across the globe come to watch it. You know, they have two festivals in a year and they have dedicated their entire life to the name of Lord Ram. So this again is quite unique and found only in Chhattisgarh and nowhere else. So as he said, it's, it's home to versatile tribal communities. It's, it's very rich in spiritual escapes also. Chhattisgarh is blessed with three Shakti Peets. Uh, we have Champaran, which is the birthplace of Mahaprabhu Vallabhacharya. It is revered by the Gujarati community. We have a lot of people coming in, thronging to visit these temples. Rajim is again a very important uh, center of attraction of pilgrimage. It's on the confluence of three rivers. And Shivri Narayan is also a prominent place. It's the place where the legend says that Shabri ne Ramji ko bear khilaye the. And the state government is doing a lot of uh, works over there under the Ram Van Gaman Path. They, they have, uh, you know, highlighted an entire circuit on which Lord Ram is believed to have traveled across the state of Chhattisgarh. This is a picture of Champaran temple that I was talking about. Now moving on to nature and wilderness, Chhattisgarh is particularly a green state. 44% is the state is forest, as I said. It has got three national parks, 11 wildlife sanctuaries and one biosphere reserve. And India's only elephant sanctuary. Chhattisgarh has India's only elephant sanctuary, Badal Khol, in the northern part of the state. It, has, it is ideal for uh, trekking and camping and large variety of flora and fauna, obviously. These are some glimpses of uh, the Barnapara Wildlife Sanctuary. It's particularly known for leopards. Barnapara is very famous for leopards. This one is uh, the Kanger Valley National Park. Again, this national park is very different. You know, this is not like Kana or Bandavgarh where you hop on in a gypsy and go and sight wildlife. This one is known for waterfalls and for their caves. These are the Kalash Gufa which is known for stalactite and stalagmite formations. Again, a very unique site. This is uh, Jashpur. It's in northern part of the state. Chhattisgarh has a lot of big water bodies where now a lot of uh, water sports and activities are taking place in different parts of the state, central Chhattisgarh, northern Chhattisgarh. Handicrafts, yes. Uh, just like Odisha, the handicrafts are pretty much similar, bell metal which is called as Dokra, wrought iron, terracotta. Now coming on to an important aspect, uh, we all are agents here. <clears throat> Information to hoge, but ab sell kya karoge? Tourists ko kaise bhejoge? Itinerary kahan pe banaoge? Accommodation ki kya baat hai? Transportation ki kya baat hai? Where will they stay? What is the level of hotels that we have? So talking of that, Raipur, the state capital has, you know, almost very good facilities. We have got some amazing properties like Hyatt, Marriott, Mayfairs. Uh, you know, all the brand names are there. And once you move out of Raipur, then there are a lot of speciality homestays and especially the properties of the Chhattisgarh Tourism Board, which they have made at the locations. They are amazing locations and very comfortable properties where you can stay. Oops. Uh, sorry, Kerala Agya Chhattisgarh mein. Is anybody awake here? Is this Kerala? No, it's not. It is Mayfair Lake Resort in Chhattisgarh. So that is also an aspect. We have got some amazing properties. We have got some amazing uh, locations which are there. And as I said, once you move out of Raipur, the Chhattisgarh Tourism Board has got some very, very beautiful locations where they have their properties. So I'll just play this video. Can you check the volume, please?
as i was saying tourism board has done an amazing job of creating these properties all across the state that video was about that this is one such property which is at a dam called as gangrel just 90 kilometers from raipur these are you know very nicely put up uh, pine wood cottages which are very comfortable with all modern amenities and uh, they are very popular among the locals as well as the visiting tourists similar cottages are there at chitrakoot waterfalls and you know you can see you can enjoy the waterfall right from your bedroom you you just don't need to do anything just be there and you will be witnessing the waterfalls uh, i was talking about speciality lodgings there are a lot of homestays and jungle lodges which are there across the state which give you a very local feel uh, of the destination and when you are you're staying very close to the nature and to the local communities boramdev jungle uh, retreat is one such property which is very near to the Boramdev temple, which I spoke about a bit earlier. Similarly, we have got uh, Sal Valley Resort is again a very nice homestay, jungle lodge kind of a property in Achanakmar, which is very close to Amar Kantak in MP. We have got some uh, heritage homestays also, Kavardha Palace, uh, Kanker Palace. These are erstwhile uh, rulers whose, uh, whose properties are being used as a heritage homestay. Now, talking of promoting Chhattisgarh, you know, Chhattisgarh is a unique destination and it needs a unique approach. Uh, some key points which I always talk about, we always talk about uh, sustainable tourism, responsible tourism and all those things. So, you know, Chhattisgarh is a very ecologically fragile destination and focus should be on quality of tourists rather than the quantity of tourists. And uh, we need to take a responsible approach uh, towards uh, promoting tourism in this state. And I personally believe that we need to focus on high value, low impact tourism in promoting Chhattisgarh. And creation of itineraries, since it's a travel forum, you know, we can have itineraries in different ways, depending on the uh, type of destinations that the client wants to visit, the amount of time they have. If it's a business traveler, it could be day trips, anything is possible. Uh, this is a very important slide and I stress on it because this talks about regional tourism and we need to, you know, overcome our boundaries of the states and not just focus on our own state. We need to focus on our bordering states and we should try and promote uh, intrastate itineraries. So if you look at Raipur, it is very centrally located and along with Raipur, if any tourist of yours is coming down, we can think of covering adjoining states along with it. You know, we can club Chhattisgarh with MP, we can club Chhattisgarh with Odisha, with Vishakapatnam, with Varanasi and what not. You know, that is up to us. But first thing is that we should be aware of it. So, Raipur is very centrally located and all these tourist destinations along Raipur are very easily accessible and can be promoted. This will leverage both the destinations and will create a value for money proposition for the visitor also. That in one trip, they are getting to see two states or two different destinations. So this is what I always request and ask my fellow travel agents to consider while promoting Chhattisgarh. Uh, these are some itineraries if anybody wants. This is a QR code. You can take the itineraries. These are ready-made itineraries of Chhattisgarh or I can also share it with you. And uh, that's pretty much it. And yes, I would also like to invite on stage uh, Mr. Sahil Chopra, Operation Head for Argus News. We would like to felicitate uh, our team from Chhattisgarh. Of course, I keep saying if there are any questions, queries, suggestions, you all can have an informal discussion anytime. Everybody is available here. Please. Yes, sir, why don't you go to the center? Sabiko Namaskar. May Argus News go. ऐसे अच्छे आयोजन के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं कि कोविड सिचुएशन के बाद बहुत समय बाद एक अच्छा आयोजन हमें देखने को मिला एक प्लेटफॉर्म में टूरिज्म के अलग-अलग सेगमेंट को लेके उन्होंने यहां पे आया और सभी को टूरिज्म की जानकारी दी गई और दी जा रही है इसके लिए मैं 
आर्गस न्यूज को धन्यवाद करता हूं और आगे भी ऐसे सफल आयोजन के लिए उनका धन्यवाद करता हूं